please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Whenever you think electric scooters, what comes to mind first is slow, boring, not fun to ride. Is that going to change? Well, Aether Energy, a Bangalore-based company who are launching their first two-wheeler, a smart electric scooter, say things are about to change forever as far as electric scooters are concerned. When I say smart electric, I mean something that is smart with lots of technology, features and fun to ride as well. This is the 450 that is launching in India. Let's take a ride and see how it feels. In terms of the design, this is a highly futuristic looking scooter and looks unlike any other scooter on sale in India. In fact, Aether has tried to make it as compact as possible without compromising on spaciousness or comfort. The 450 looks straight out of the next Star Wars sequel with its sleek design, the apron mounted all LED headlights and a carefully selected shade of white. Body panels have been designed to make it look sleek, but despite its compact dimensions, the 450 felt accommodating, even for my near 6-foot frame. The side stand sits flush with the floorboard, while pillion footrests are integrated into the bodywork in a way that the pillion's feet won't brush against the rider's legs, even when he puts his feet down at standstill. The instrument cluster is a 7-inch touchscreen and looks crisp and is sure to be a game-changer with its design and appearance. What's more, Aether also claims underseat storage is among the highest for a scooter and the 450 will hold most full-face helmets too. The rear looks as futuristic thanks to the design of the stoplight and turn indicators both. The battery pack has been integrated into the floorboard well and in fact, if you were to not notice the absence of an engine and exhaust, you cannot really tell that the Aether 450 is an electric scooter. The Aether 450 is powered by a single cylinder petrol engine. No, I'm just joking. It's an electric scooter. It's powered by an electric motor that offers up to 5.4 kilowatts of power in the 450 here and up to 4.4 kilowatts of power in the 340. That's the lower spec version, which looks exactly identical to this. In terms of the output and the acceleration, the Aether 450 is a lot quicker than any petrol engine scooter on sale in India. Claimed 0 to 40 time is 3.9 seconds only and the top speed claimed is 80 kilometers per hour. Well, that's not just it, because in terms of torque output, this scooter beats any scooter in India hands down. It offers 20.5 Newton meters of torque, which is in fact higher than most 150cc bikes in the country. The Aether 450 will make you think again if you thought electric scooters can only be slow and boring. One of the biggest advantages of an electric motor over conventional engines is that the motor offers peak torque right from the word go. This means the Aether 450 will be quicker than any scooter on sale in India by a significant margin. Aether has also employed a final belt drive to ensure wear and tear and power losses are minimal and I am convinced the 450 will make quite a few jaws drop with its acceleration. The brushless, direct current motor builds power in a linear fashion and the 450 had little trouble getting past 60 km per hour and continuing to accelerate well beyond at every given opportunity. More importantly, Aether is claiming a real-world range of 75 km for the 450 in Eco mode, while the certified range as per the engine driving cycle is an impressive 107 km. Given its curb weight of 118 kg, the Aether 450 is slightly heavier than most scooters but feels sporty in terms of handling thanks to its smartly engineered aluminum chassis. The 450 is suspended on telescopic forks and a monoshock and runs on 12-inch wheels shot with MRF tires and dynamics are impressive. It feels light on its feet when it comes to changing direction quickly and its nifty acceleration coupled with the scooter's confident handling make it very impressive in traffic. The suspension setup is on the firmer side and you do feel the odd bumper pothole at slow speeds but the experience improves as speeds go up. The Aether 450 also comes equipped with disc brakes at both ends and feel and feedback from the brakes is good. So what's the coolest feature on the Aether 450? It's got reverse mode! Engaging reverse mode is easy as you simply need to press the rear brake, turn indicator switch and the start button together and this is a feature that is sure to help when maneuvering out of tight spots. 
The instrument cluster is in fact a waterproof tablet that uses a SIM card and is constantly connected to the internet to offer onboard navigation directly without the need to sync to your smartphone. Of course, there is a dedicated app as well which allows you to sync your phone and access information about the scooter including charge status and the like. The scooter also studies your individual riding style over a period of time including the way you open the throttle and lean into corners using an IMU and tailors your experience accordingly. Aether Energy is also coming up with its own charging infrastructure called as Aether Grid. As part of that, they will be putting up charging stations like these at various locations in cities across the country, starting with Bangalore of course. This is a quick charger and the 450 here that I've been riding for a while needs some charge. And if I put it to charge here, this means I will get about 1 km per minute in terms of the charging. So if I spend 30 minutes here, that's 30 km of charge. It's been some time since I put this scooter for charge here and I think it now has enough juice for me to go out for another ride. And another ride is something I really want to go for because I'm extremely impressed with what the Aether 450 is in terms of its acceleration, the handling, the feature list, everything. This is a great way to move forward towards electrification because the future is electric.